So we're about to find out where the hell this counterfeit money comes from. This is part number 21 of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hope you guys are well. Leave a like on the video and let's head out. Tends to just walk, to be honest. It's not actually that far. I know it's a bit dark. We can do it. We can walk. Let's walk. Oh, I just got a phone call. I'm trying to immerse myself in this world. And I get a phone call. Great. Ooh. This doesn't look good, does it? Good God, what a bloody mess. Wow. What happened here? Didn't quite expect that. There's a chest here. Oh, it's very hard. Damn it. Really got to try and improve my lockpicking, because that's annoying. There could be, like, silver in there. Probably fake silver, but still. Right, so what are we looking for? How big is this area? So there's some blood. Examine the blood. Someone was wounded here. It looks like another person dragged him off. Maybe there'll be some tracks. Ah, tracks. There's some tracks here. Some more tracks. Blood. Lots of blood. Aha. Tracks, look. See where it goes? Examine again. Can I examine that? Yep. Another clue. I must be going the right way. Where's the next set of tracks? I would guess it was it would be going up this path, but I don't want to presume. Oh, more blood. It looks like blood. Lots and lots of blood. Like I'm just walking in there with a torch. This could be a lead. But more blood. More blood. Blood. A camp. Hmm. Charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard something. Let's ask. Is anybody in here? Nope. It's all quiet. There must be somebody around here. Aha! An individual. A charcoal burner. Let's, let's have a chat. Oh, come on. Is he actually awake now? He's awake. I can't find him. Great. <laughs> He's actually gone elsewhere. Where's he gone? Oh, there's a guy over there. Look. Let's go and ask questions. Oh, look. He's awake. He's by, is he by himself? It looks a bit suspicious. Good day to you. Good day. What do you need? Uh, what happened at the crossroads? What happened at the crossroads? What crossroads? What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> don't lie to me, bitch. <laughs> um, don't lie to me. Enough bullshit. I know you dragged somebody here, so tell me what happened. I don't know nothing, and I I don't know nothing. If you want to know something about it, just ask Boya. I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay, who's that? Who is this Boya? Boya. Boya cracks the whip around here. You'll recognise him by his red cap. Thank you. Red cap. Right, shields out, torches away. It's not needed anymore. So this Boya, <laughs> what, a, what a name by the way. That is a very cool name. Boya, what's your name? Boya. No, seriously, what's your name? Boya. Okay, that's just a really cool name. Looking for a guy with a red cap. Is that him over there? I see movement. Yeah, that's him. I found him. Talk, man, talk. I am at your service, Sir Knight. Good. The ambushed wagon. What do you know about the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Really? Really? Mm. Yes. Is that a problem? It's a massive problem. It's a very big problem. So I like the fact we can now see stats. Uh, so I use my strength. Mm, or my speech. Don't. Let's go for force. You're what passes for bristle and gristle around here, are you? Possibly. Did it work? So listen to me, you hero. <laughs> if you don't want me to wipe that crooked grin off your face, you'll start talking. Got it? Yeah, right. Because everyone knows charcoal burners are thieves and killers. Well, let me tell you, that's not at all what happened. I'll be glad to hear you out. 
Let's just get this straight. We didn't ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads then? We were just passing and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, The fellow was hat like a martyr in some holy picture. He begged us to hide him away. So you have him here somewhere? Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. So who actually ambushed the wagon? Do you know who ambushed that wagon? Not a clue. We came a long way after. All right. Did you say anything? Did he say Did he anything? tell you anything? He wasn't exactly talkative. His lungs are full of holes, so talking's a problem. His lungs are full of holes. Where is he? We've locked him away, in the shed. There. I want to talk to him. I, I, I don't know. He, he paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. We've been through that already. All right, all right. Just calm down. Here, take the key. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Cheers. Right, where's this? Where's he held up? Look at his blood. Oh. So he's in here. What's this? Can't get inside here. Ah. I need to improve my lock picking skills. Oh, look. Who is this? A mercenary. Who are you? He speaks. Talk and you'll live. I'm here to help you. Never mind that. I've come to help you. Thank God. I thought I'd breathe my last here. Lucky for me, my guardian angel comes bursting through the door. I'm no angel, so you'll have to answer a few questions before you get my help. Ah, well. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. It's true. Who are you working for, fool? Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. And where's this Menhart disappeared off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. Who ambushed the wagon? Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. And where did he go? I don't know. I got a beating, and then I passed out. A knight? Do you know what you were carrying in that wagon? (coughs) I never asked men hot that. (coughs) Can I take a look at the wounds? Can I see your wound? Can I help? Are you a quack? Sort of. Hmm. That's a deep wound to the flank and you're still losing blood. You need to staunch it. Will you help me? I can try. We can give it a go. Uh, Tell me about this knight. Tell me more about the knight. Where's the coin? What? What coin? I will not repeat the question. I I don't know about any coin. I swear... Ah! Where are oh. those sacks you took from the wagon? Sacks? They're behind the shed. That's him! That's got to be that knight! Is that all? Did you take anything else? Uh-uh. Oh. Fuck! Stop! Stop right there! Oh no, come on, please. Where's my horse? There he is, there he is, there he is. Go, chase him. Get on the horse, man. Chase him down. Or chase down a knight. This does not sound like the best of ideas. We don't really have much choice right now. Where is he? Where is he? Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. I cut him off. Come here. Come on, horsey. We can do this. Is that the same horse as mine? Those look very similar. He's got a shield. I believe he's got a sword. He's got plated armor. This won't be easy. Come on, horse. Come on. Keep going. I believe in your horsey. Well, he is quick. Damn. We're galloping. I mean, I've got obviously the saddles on. Um, I believe I've got the extra perk as well, where he's slower, but he can carry more. 
I'm gonna run out of stamina soon. Lovely! Sweet. I mean, are you even galloping right now? Doesn't feel very quick. What I'm gonna do is slow down. Go for a nice little trot. Wait for the horse's stamina to come back. And then we'll ride. Ride quick. Here we go. Go. Speed! Try and catch up. Come on. This is why I should have bought a better horse in the last episode. Damn it. Imagine if my horse was quicker. I could easily catch up. He's slowing down. He's slowing down as well. He does not have unlimited stamina. Good. Whoa! Up in there. Alright, fine. And attack. Oh, he's getting off. We're gonna fight then, are we? Well, I'm tempted. I do actually have a mace. I bought this from the swordsmith. But like this might be better. Oh, hello. Come on in. No problem, I don't really. Oh, look at that mace, man. That is devastating. So it's more better against like plated armor. Oh, man, he is quick. Okay, this guy's good. Surprise, surprise. Woo. Oh, look at that. Right in the face. And again. Oh, he's, he's given up. Wow. That worked. Let's talk to him then. Well. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> Who is that, Daffy? It seems I have finally met my match. I guess so. Kill him? I guess we should ask who he is first. That's pretty wise. I want to know everything. Who you are, why you're here, and what you know about the ambushed wagon. You may call me Ulri. I will tell you nothing more until you give me some assurances. Oh, really? Assurances? How about this? If you talk, I'll spare you. Do you expect me to believe that? Probably not. I know full well how these stories end. I... I have been at the other end of the sword more times than you can count. I give you my word. <laughs> the word of a thief? Jesus. It is true what the preachers say. This world has gone quite mad. You had better kill me. I'm finished, anyway. Just as you are. What? Why am I done for? I'm no criminal. Unlike you, I'm not a criminal. You believe that the forging of money is an honest trade? I've got nothing to do with that. I'm not a forger, I'm the one investigating them. What? What are you saying? I'm in the service of Sir Radzig Kobola, Governor of Scalitz and Royal Hetman. Then we have something in common. I also am here under orders from above. Who? Oh, no. Perhaps you might sheet that weapon so that we may talk eye to eye. If we do indeed have a common cause. Alright, get up then. Stand up. Stand up, fool. I think that's the right solution. We have to let him talk. We can't just go around killing people. We're not James Bond. We're Henry. <laughs> it is true our meeting has not begun well. But if it is the truth that you are sent by Kobila, then we can assist each other. What do you mean? I found out many things, but there are still questions I cannot answer. And the last man who knew anything is now dead. Who died? What man was that? Mainhart. He's dead. The merchant from Passau. Listen, I will explain everything to you. But first, I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? T really? You will introduce me to a certain person, and I will tell you everything I've learned. What do you mean? Who do you mean? Master Tobias Pfeiffer. If you truly serve Sir Radzik, then you must know him. Of course I know him. What do you want him for? I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such technical matters. Master Pfeiffer, however... We'll definitely be able to make sense of it. 
And you'll give it to me? Just like that? It seems I have little choice. This is the last lead I have. In the meantime, I will return to Sasau and see what I might learn there. I think this is the right call. I don't know. Shouldn't you go with me? Shouldn't you go with me to see Feyfar? No. I must remain in Sasau. I have some uh, loose ends that must be tied. Hmm. Can I trust this man? I, What's I your name so. anyway? I told you. I am Ulrich. Mm. Just Ulrich? It is enough. Because you look like a knight. They seldom have just one name. It is true. I have a horse, armor, a sword and a shield. But there are many ways to acquire such things these days. As I am sure you know. So you're not a knight? I am a trustworthy soldier in the service of a nobleman. That is all you need to know. Hmm. I'd like to know more, but I have a feeling you won't tell me. Your feeling is correct. My feeling is always correct. So who are you working for? Who are you working for? You won't tell me. I understand you? why you wish to know. But this does not mean I am at liberty to tell you. We could have just killed you, by the way. We could have just killed you. That sounds very fishy. That sounds a bit fishy. <laughs> it is simply that my master does not wish to be revealed. And if we are to help one another, that is how it must remain. I'm not sure I trust him at all. The fool of the money. Tell me what you know about the false coins. Do you know, Passau? Um, do we? I don't believe so. No? What is it? A city in Bavaria. Passau is a city of trade. All the currencies in Christendom change hands there. I see. And that would include Prague Groschen? Some months ago, counterfeit Groschen were discovered to be circulating there. They are made from copper plated with silver. The puzzle of the man began to investigate and learned that a family of money changers was involved. They were bringing the forged coins in from Bohemia and sending back real ones. My liege lord is allied to the puzzle of the man, so they requested that he deal with the matter. And so he sent you? Yes. He needed a man that he could trust absolutely. Uh, about this ambushed wagon. And what about that wagon? What happened there, exactly? I followed Menhard from Passau. I had reason to suspect a connection with Sassau. And? So they were transporting false Groschen on that wagon? Yes. On their way here, they brought real coin. Groschen, foreigns, francs and the like. But now, the sacks were full of counterfeits. So where's it gone? What do you mean about the connection with Sassau? The matter was investigated in Passau and the executioner extracted information from those who were arrested. They told him that the coins were made in a monastery. What, in the monastery itself? I cannot say. I know only what the Passo scribe wrote down in his reports of the interrogations. Why did you let them get here before attacking? I wanted to discover where they hand over their coins, which I failed to do. Besides, Mainhard had an armed escort, and they kept two busy roads and lodged at inns throughout their journey. Until he came to this godforsaken track. I cannot guess why he came here, but it was the perfect opportunity to strike. What happened on that track? I ambushed them. I took down two, but that bastard Mainhard cut the horses loose and rode away. What next? While I was chasing Manhard, those charcoal burners came and stole what they could. Before I could catch him, his horse threw him and he broke his neck. So we won't get anything out of him? Unfortunately not. So he's, he's definitely dead. He broke his neck. Ouch. Uh, what happened to Manhart? We know about that already. All right. Very I've well. got a job to do. I'll go and see Master Feyfar. Godspeed. I will wait in Sasso at the Wagoners Inn. Alrighty then. So there's like a sort of a document describing how these coins are put together. 
and not many men know about the techniques involved. Ah. Oh, there he is. He's currently walking up some stairs. Hey, watch it. Can we? I'll remember you. Oh, just hurry up, man. We've already spoken before. Oh, there's Radzig as well. Daddy. <laughs> um, right, please talk, please. There we go. Finally, we can chat. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Master Fayfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn and blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? Uh, he said his name. His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you say? Hmm. Could be anyone. Can you describe him? An older man with a moustache. But for all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. True. Good point. He told me that the fake money was being taken to Passau in exchange for gold coins. Then that real money was being brought back to the Bohemian lands. That would explain why those fakes bear the Passau canter mark. His master is allied with the Passau alderman, and they told him to sort it all out. I wonder who could be behind it all. I wonder. Um, he gave me these documents. He gave actually. me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau, and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, uh -huh. interrogation held this day, uh -huh. put to pen by the quester. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sassau. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. We command Herr Ulrich to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Passau alderman. But they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognise the hand. It's a Clement of Kaplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. What? The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. Oh, so what does this mean exactly? So what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver and silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. OK. Sounds like a plan. So we're still discovering new settlements what the hell i'm actually quite excited even though it's covered in cloud i could still fast travel there which did surprise me i'm excited to see where this storyline goes i'm not sure what to expect next yeah look, it's all covered in cloud but we can fast travel straight there did not see that coming it's a really big map actually i thought it may be quite small but it's humongous Really big. I'm not sure in terms of how does it compare to like Skyrim and stuff like that, but it's big. Very big. I've been playing this game for hours. I'm still covering new land every day. And this, guys, is a new city. Looks like there's a lot of houses, like just individual houses. Nothing particularly massive as such. Yeah, I was really surprised how quick that, that night 
if he's if he's a knight, I don't know. Um, how he just crumbled under the mace. Like he just like, okay, I'm sorry. And just gave up, which was uh, quite surprising. Looking for a bridge. Looking for a bridge. There it is. Found it. It's also starting to get a little bit dark. And I don't like operating during night time. I'm not an owl. I'm a human being. We have arrived. I'm hoping it's quite friendly. Is he ignoring us? Henry! Eh! What? I can't believe it. We've known each other our whole lives, near enough. What? These are the guys from the beginning. How you guys doing? He's got to be bloody joking. Can't believe it. Remember these two? The, the guys we threw manure at someone's house? Those Henry. friends? I'm glad to see you. Me too. You're alive. Matthew. Fritz. You're alive. Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. <laughs> really? Bullocks! Bloody joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rat Eye that I got back in my right mind. You're not doing too well either, are you? What do you mean? Right now, I'm a squire for Sir Radzig. I see you've worked your way up. Nah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. <laughs> you said it. We're still chopped off to bits. Owe the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. Um... Then they must need good carpenters, surely. No one's interested in two good carpenters in Sasau. No one. Madness. And we looked everywhere. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. Oh, no. It will really help us out right now. Oh, uh, I, I, I try my best. Well, I can ask around, but I'm not promising anything. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt. Don't you worry. Good, okay. A friend in need. It's good to see some friendly faces, for sure. And it saved my game for me. I appreciate that. Um, who else survived? What other neighbours of ours made it? Your hunker's in the monastery. Oh, yeah, I bet that. That really helped us out. That's about all we know. When we ran for it, we helped Teresa. But who knows where she is now? We got separated. Yeah, Teresa's... Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> I saved Teresa. Uh... No. <laughs> that didn't happen. I owe my life to Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. I'm glad she survived. Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? All right. I'll do what I can. And where would they hire you to? <laughs> well, we were carpenters in the mines, so wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sasau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. Wow. That's not quite how it works. What it? is it? You have to work half your money. Like I do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's talk. Look where you're going. Am I speaking to this man? God be with you, good sir. Uh, ah, the Quicksilver. My friend, you're a trader. Help me out here. I'm after some Quicksilver. Well, I've been there several times myself and come back empty-handed. They fobbed me off three times over. And who exactly are you talking about? Who's holding back the goods on you? The monastery overseer, or his assistant, more like. So what did the overseer have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently he doesn't deal in such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. Oh, who's holding back the goods? Uh, what do you need Quicksilver for? What do you Good need point. Quicksilver for? I don't. They do. To mix up the red pigment for me. I'm painting the church in Ujits. Can you imagine how stupid those biblical scenes look without red? Not really. 
Then be glad you can. My eyes are just to imagine it. Um, who's holding back the goods? Surely such valuable material can't just vanish. Where can it be? I wish I knew. Every time I ask for the red paint, there's a different reason why they haven't got the quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived, and another time that the wagon carrying it was ambushed. Then it went astray somewhere. And you think they're lying? Jesus, what do I know? Well, it seems pretty strange to me. Three times in a row the same thing goes missing. There's bad luck and then there's something else. Thanks. That's hmm. all I need to know for now. Just as you ordered. Ah. But wouldn't you care to buy something before you go? Or play a game? I really need some money. I've been waiting here a while and my stay's getting Mommy, expensive. Um, yeah. what do you have for sale? Why not? Show me what you have to offer. I'm always up for buying stuff. Oh, a treasure map, which I'm pretty sure I have already. Tavern life. What does that teach me? A book on drinking. <laughs> I mean, sure. Why not? It's probably a ripoff, but is that all he sells? There we go. There's some money. I bought a book about drinking. So I'm going to save it now, guys, and we're going to rest up, and I'll be back in the next episode for the rest of this quest. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.